up guys? So it is the day after Memorial Day. We're at the first stop of the week. Uh, my Goodwill was closed yesterday. At the local thrift shop, you know, er, thrift shop, sorry, you're gonna see if there's anything in there. Same old stuff that was there last week. On to the next one. Hey, what is up guys? We're at my local Goodwill. That last footage you saw was from the biggest pawn shop in town. The one that used to always have PS2 games for me to buy and you know at least something for me to get. I didn't find anything there today. I'll go back later this week and I'll try to get footage of their like case that they keep the NES and the SNES games in. They did have a couple new NES games but they were Legacy of the Wizard which I already have and Gotcha. So I'm at least seeing some new stuff. I haven't been out for two weeks so here's to hoping that the Goodwill has something for me. Guys, what's up? We just left the Goodwill, and the only new thing my Goodwill seemed to get was a shit ton of V-Smiles. So, didn't pick anything up there. I was interested in that ship. It was like 750 because it was green tag, but I don't resell, so I wouldn't really had a use for it. It would have just probably taken up space, even though it was cool. Then, the Undisputed DVD that I got a quick footage of in the Super, or Super Mario Super Show. I did pass on them. I almost bought those, too. So don't have anything to show for today. I'm going to go back out, you know, probably Thursday or so. So we'll see you then. What's up, guys? It's a small town retro game here. I'm actually just about to leave work. It's about 8 o'clock. Um, didn't find anything thrifting today. It is still Tuesday. But I did score a Facebook group deal. So $10 for a PS2. The lady said that it did work. Uh, it's been in storage. So I'm going to buy that, test it out. And it did come with some games. So I'll show you guys when I pick it up. Alright guys, we're just leaving that lady's house. There's the box of stuff that I purchased for $10. Right off top, uh, she said she threw in a controller and some PS1. PS2 and some games, so I'll show you guys everything in the pickups. What's up guys, it's Friday. Just got done subbing. We're at the local thrift shop. The one that the last couple times have been horrible. See if anything's in here. I did just go to a garage sale that was going on until 5. Found magic cards. They said they'd have video games tomorrow. So I'll check back. Let you guys know if I find anything inside. Alright guys, the little clip you just saw is actually the Goodwill. Didn't find anything at BSW. Goodwill had a lot of the same stuff too. Gonna hit up a couple pawn shops, see if they have anything else. If not, that one garage sale said that he would hold the games for me, which is a hit and miss if you will. Other than that, uh, we're gonna go out to sale tomorrow. Alright guys, we're going to hit one more pawn shop. I just want to stay downtown. It's one I usually don't hit. It's right across the street from my favorite one actually. Then go to another garage sale, then go home. I did find something in that pawn, in my favorite pawn shop. It is a PSP game, a system I don't have. I couldn't pass it up. I am looking for one. Hopefully I find one this summer. What's up guys? I actually found some stuff in there. I never do. I've only, I, don't, I only go about once a month, but I actually found something in there. Two things. I'll show you the pickups. 
Guys, small town retro game here. I'm just leaving uh, that garage sale that said they'd have games yesterday. There are three other games I pulled off to the sides, but you can see there some of the games I got, and I paid 44 for all of it. Three other games, like I said, three. Hey guys, what's up? Small town retro gamer here uh, with the pickup recap of what I got this week. Uh, one garage sale in particular really pulled through for me. Showed you most of that stuff in the live game hunting footage, but. We get to the three games that I bought from there that were high ticket items. And that's the stuff I found this week. So, first thing on Tuesday, uh, I didn't find much, but I did find there's five of them. Uh, just some blank DVD cases for, let's see if I can get it in there. 10 cents a piece, so 50 cents. You know, I figured, you know, leftover discs, you know, loose discs, if I ever find anything like that, I'll have them. Always a good, nah, pretty good pickup. Then, from my favorite pawn shop, which I thought this would be five, but it actually ended up being seven bucks, which is all right. It's like an eight to ten dollar game. Uh, Final Fantasy War of the Lions for the PSP. The latch inside is broke, but it is complete. Disc is in, or the UMD, I guess, is in really good shape. Um, I do not have a PSP, so I'm on the lookout for one right now. I did spot some last summer at garage sales, but people were asking, you know, 50 bucks with it alone without any game. So, try to find one for a deal. Then, at the pawn shop I rarely go to, I saw outside they had a 30% off everything inside sign. So, I kind of decided, alright, I'll check it out. I found Tom and Jerry, the magic ring for, and I'll show you how much I paid for it after. But Tom and Jerry, the magic ring, you know, a four, three to five dollar game. Then I found after last week's video saying, oh, I never find this if it's in lots. You know, it goes for way too much on eBay. I never find it in the wild. Castlevania Lament of Innocence. Complete. Disc is in pretty good shape. I'm not sure which one's in better shape, the one that I just bought or this one. But, you know, to find it complete, like a week after buying it online, the main reason why I bought that other lot, uh, you know, $7, $9 game. And I'll be able to trade the other one into a store and get some credit or something like that for it and I ended up paying I don't know if you can see that six dollars for both of those so not a bad deal um, you know three and three how you can look at it so I paid pretty much right on what Tom and Jerry goes for they got Castlevania for you know four to five bucks cheaper than what it goes for then the garage sale I went to on Friday I uh, had these and it was the bag of it's gonna mount magic cards I don't really play but uh, he had literally like 50 of these bags, and on it was like dollar per bag. And I went up and talked to him. I said, hey, do you have video games, stuff like that? He said, I'll put them out tomorrow. And, you know, I tried my best to, you know, try to get him to bring them out today. And he said, i got to look at what I want to sell, what I don't want to sell. So I'm, not, I'm waiting until tomorrow. And I was like, okay. I was like, do you mind if I come by early? And he was like, uh, I really don't want anyone here before 9. But I'm not opening the door until 9, the garage door. It's staying closed. No one's getting in, so don't worry about it. Just show up at 9. I'm sure you'll be one of the first ones here. So I did end up buying three of these. Um, you know, maybe I'll get into it if I don't. Uh, my nephews... Nephews? Yeah, my nephews really like magic cards, so I'll give them to them. You know, a dollar a bag, I ended up buying three. And the store around here does trade them in, so... Be able to do that. Um, but I did, I went back... And, I, uh, granted, I wasn't the first one there, but I was one of them. I got there right at 9. And it was the only garage sale I hit up that day because I was running a little low on cash. I had, like, 45 bucks on me. And I pull up, and there's this just sitting on the table. Nintendo World Cup. And I'll tell you what I paid for everything at the end. You know, that's a, I'm trying to find, figure out, 5 $6 game. You know, I, the one that I didn't have, added to the NES collection. Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. That one is... There's the disc. And the manual's falling out, but there's the manual. It is complete. It's in pretty good shape. It should play. I haven't tested any of these out yet. Full Metal Alchemist 2. Does have the DVD. Does have the manual. It is complete. Again, a couple light scratches should play just fine. And that's, you know, a... I figured out where I put it. You know, a twelve to, uh, on eBay, twelve to sixteen dollar game. Uh, Gungrave Overdose. 
no manual and I didn't think I had this one it ends up that I do so we'll end up either going in if I ever hit it you know the 50 subscriber contest or whatever or I'll try to tell the game store in Bozeman or the local one here and then don't laugh hello kitty roller rescue and it's complete um, and this one's in really good shape uh, the main reason I picked this up is the happy video game nerd and is it that bad did a video with it so I kind of wanted to test it out myself see what it's like and that's you know a I'm trying to figure I write everything down 10 to 14 dollar game complete so pretty happy with that so now we get to the heavy hitters of the lot and then I'll tell you how much I paid Silent Hill 3 complete with the CD and this one's in amazing shape like no problem at all no scratches or anything I'm pretty excited about that and this is a weird one where complete it goes for like 20 to 30 I found online and you know don't really you know 20 to 30 so I'd put a value of it around like 22 bucks something like that 22 to 25 but you know you never know because I did see them going as low as like 15 bucks so weird one and then this one is a double but it's Super Mario Sunshine it is complete and I bought this because the one that I own is not in the greatest shape this one's in pretty good shape so I'm gonna see which one's in better shape trade the other one off or add it to a subscriber contest if I ever get there and then the big heavy hitter Super Smash Bros Melee the first time I have seen this at a garage sale this disc is actually not in that great a shape but if I really have to I'll bring it over 80 miles to uh, the biggest local game store that we have which is about an hour drive and no manual but you know like a 50 60 dollar game you know Super Mario Sunshine about a 30 dollar game so when we went up to talk the deal you know I came up and I said okay what do you want for these and he took Super Smash out he said well this one's worth quite a bit of money because he knew kind of what he had He's like, when I had to rebuy this, it was worth 40 bucks. I'm sure it's worth a little bit more now. I was like, okay, throw that one to the side for right now. So he did. <coughs> and the rest of these, he's like, <coughs> one or two bucks. He's like, uh, a dollar, uh, two dollars, a dollar. For Gun Grave, for some reason, he wanted five. He's like, five dollars. But he was giving me great prices on everything else, so I didn't really argue that much. Let me move on. And for everything else, you know, a dollar, two dollars. Besides the gun grave, dollar two dollars for everything else for Silent Hill 3, for Super Mario Sunshine, like that. And I, it came up to like 19 or 20 bucks, I think, all around. Let's see here, five. Yeah, about, about that, 19, 20 bucks. And like I said, I only had 44 or 45 bucks on me. So he said, So what do you want to offer on the Super Smash Bros. Melee? And, you know, I knew that he knew what it was worth because like he said he had bought it for 40 um and he was the original owner of all these had them forever so i didn't want to like lowball and be like oh about 10 bucks so i was like i think i brought 44 dollars with me I said could you take like 20 bucks for it he said yeah that's fine so for 40 bucks i bought all these games which 20 dollars isn't really a garage sale price, but you know, I knew he knew what he had, and I didn't want to, you know, be like, oh, I'll give you five bucks for it, and then he says, ah, oh, no, and walks away. So you know, overall, for forty bucks, got a good, a good amount of games, good amount of some harder to find PS2 games. You know, ones that I don't see in Super Smash Bros. Melee. If it doesn't work, I'll get it resurfaced for a couple bucks, and hopefully it'll work. But, you know, for 20 bucks, I was willing to take the gamble because that's what I don't see. If I do see it, it's overpriced. It's 60 to 70 bucks. So, super excited for that. So, guys, that is everything I picked up this week. Hope you guys had a good week. Like, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe, sorry. And keep on retro gaming. Tell me what you guys got. Tell me if you think that's a great deal or not. I don't know. I will test everything, and I'll tell you next week if it all worked. Peace. Don't want to say she lied. She said it was in storage, but wasn't sure if it was going to work either. But the games, I mean, she could obviously see and should have said, you know, they're super scratched. But whatever. Um, that's one of the downfalls of using Facebook groups. But hopefully I can get my money back from it. Uh, like I said, I...